Our customers face a lot of challenges. They're under tremendous pressure to increase revenue. Uh, they're trying to develop more innovative products and products that can appeal to a more global audience. Uh, they're also under challenges to increase their product development efficiency. They don't have the time to reinvent the wheel. They've got to easily access and reuse IP, and they've got to reduce the number of design iterations that they're going through during product development. And then finally, they're interested in appealing to a, uh, an audience that is concerned about human product interaction. They want to develop products that conform to safety and workplace guidelines and are optimized for the way that people will actually use them. PTC has come up with some innovative ways to address these challenges through the introduction of mannequin technology inside of ProEngineer. So there are a few aspects to our offering. Uh, the first part of the offering is the base ProEngineer mannequin offering. And this is, the, this is the, the core component of the technology. It's going to provide capabilities that will allow companies to simulate how people interact with their, with their products. They'll be able to choose a, a target um, segment from over a dozen different populations, Japanese, North American, men, women, the elderly, and children. They'll be able to position mannequins relative to their design and then, and then simulate how people will enter, interact with their products. They'll be able to simulate things like reach, what can the mannequin touch? They'll be able to simulate things like vision, what can the mannequin see, what's in their peripheral field of view. All of this is in the integrated Pro Engineer environment, so they'll have access to measurement tools like clearance and interference, and they'll be able to replace one mannequin with another. On top of that sits the Pro Engineer Mannequin Analysis Extension. This is an environment where we can simulate certain tasks and scenarios. What can the mannequin lift and lower? What can they push or pull or carry? You'll be able to set up scenarios and then analyze for particular population profiles and understand what percentage of the population can accomplish those tasks. In addition, we're providing Pro Engineer Mannequin Libraries, a library of postures as well as accessories that will be available on our website that customers can contribute to and use to augment the scenarios that they're testing. And then finally, as of Pro Engineer Wildfire 4.0, every single customer will have access to some basic mannequin simulation capabilities. This will allow them to embed one particular mannequin inside of the design and perform some basic posturing and some basic analysis. The mannequin can't be saved, but it's intended to give customers a a flavor for these capabilities and uh, help them begin to understand how their products could be better optimized for human-centric interactions. The key customer benefits of this technology are that first off, they're going to allow you to eliminate your dependency on physical prototypes, eliminate the cost and the ongoing maintenance of physical prototypes that are used for this type of analysis very frequently today. They'll also be able to ensure that their products conform to safety and occupational and workplace uh, guidelines and in some case standards that are enforced by, by various governments. And then finally, this technology, because it is so visual and engaging, is an excellent mechanism for communicating the complex human product issues that often arise during product development. For more information about all of these benefits and the technology, I'd encourage you to take a look at the Pro Engineer Mannequin page on ptc.com.